Hey guys, so for today's video, it was inspired by Jackie Aina here on YouTube. She inspired me to make this video because she recently showed her support for the Black Lives Matter movement. She basically made a video showing her support of the movement and pretty much inspired all makeup artists and all creators out there in the YouTube and on the online community to start using black or just create a look using black owned makeup companies to show the support for the community and making sure the community grows stronger, which I really love because I feel like in the black African American community, we don't always support each other until the time time of crisis and need. So basically in her video she tries to bring awareness to a lot of black owned makeup companies that don't necessarily get a lot of recognition in Sephora and a lot of big brand stores. Unfortunately I don't have a black owned makeup. I know I have to expand my line and try new things but I just don't have any in here right now that's really outside of Sephora so I'm definitely going to start looking into trying other brands. Not just makeup companies that are owned by black individuals but more just expanding my collection and trying new things. I just wanted to show 10 of my favorite black YouTubers. I feel like they're not publicly advertised as well as others. It's just a known fact that black people in the YouTube community don't necessarily always get the most recognition that they deserve, even if they work harder than the next individual. I mean, I've seen a lot of YouTubers who just like grown into like a million, like 1 million point five subscribers and just like six months pretty much. So they've grown really fast. And while there's like other black YouTubers who were just like still at maybe 500,000 and they've been doing it for years so I mean there's a lot of things that go into the fact of how people could gain subscribers but I just feel like these 10 of my favorite black youtubers don't necessarily get the most recognition that they deserve for their hard work and talent that they bring to the table so I'm just gonna share 10 of my favorite youtubers and they're not in any particular order they're just 10 of my favorite youtubers in general I think they are all excellent and superb in their own field there's I have comedians I have makeup artists I have a whole bunch of youtubers that I love to watch on YouTube YouTube is like my TV you know it's like my reality TV number one is Jackie Aina I love Jackie Aina first of all she's the smoky eye queen if you ever go on her channel I'll link it all in the description below but when you go on her channel she is the smoky eye queen hands down this is one thing that i love about her i love that she's always honest and i love her radiant skin oh my god her skin is just so superb because i always get a little apprehensive being a little bit darker and trying new products but like she kind of re-solidifies why i'm able to try certain things and like really step outside my comfort zone because if it works on her i feel like it could work on anyone my second youtuber is ellery oh my god ellery she is the queen of eyeshadow like she is my queen of eyeshadow she could really make any eyeshadow palette look spectacular like i have not tried certain i have i don't think i own like a eyeshadow palette yet like i haven't bought an eyeshadow palette yet because there's always a lot of colors that i don't think would work on my skin tone ellery breaks all barriers she is the eyeshadow queen i love her to death like she's like my eyeshadow queen. i don't know like this girl just has so much amazing talent like she could just slay an eye and like any like cut creases smoky eye anything she could really try and she really has opened up my eyes personally of like what i could put and work on my skin tone so my third person is shameless maya shameless maya is like one of my favorite youtubers of all time she does it all like she's such an influential woman like I, sometimes i feel like with a lot of youtubers not just black people in general they could get a little airheaded and once they become with a certain subscriber base they're all about like marketing and things like that but Maya is such a genuine person like she wants to see her subscribers succeed in life like even for her last birthday party which she just held in LA like I think it was in May she had a station there where youtubers could sit there and collab with each other and get to network and grow their channel and become whoever they want to be like she's just such an influential woman she does tech talk she does makeup tutorial she does um slumber party oh my god she does slumber party I'm actually in one of her slumber party videos I think it was I don't remember which one I'm actually in one of her slumber party videos I'm not like in it in it I'm just like in a quick cameo if you will in one of her videos it's like one of her next up number four is Jenny Jenkins my lady across the border Jenny Jenkins is from the UK I believe and she's like my favorite London oh. I love her channel because she features a lot of lookbooks and I love looking at lookbooks. She does fashion, she does beauty, she does hair, she does makeup, she does it all. So I just love her channel. Number five is the Mind Catchers channel, aka Valerie. She was like one of the first ever YouTubers who were a woman of color that I really looked up to. She just something about her just captivated me, especially when I was younger. Like Valerie taught me a lot in sense of how you could match your 
skin color and like your foundation to the event that you're going to and she really taught me not to be afraid of trying new products whether it be Laura Mercier like for a while I was so afraid of Laura Mercier powder because it was just white and I was just like oh I don't want to look gray but Valerie really opened me up into trying new things like a lot of these people here opened me up into trying new things and not being afraid to try things that are not necessarily made for individuals with darker skin tone but it could work for us as well so number six is smoothie freak aka akila i love her channel because she's a comedian and she's like funny and a little witty and like i don't know her comedic style just speaks to me like that is like what i want to be in life like her comedy is just so funny and hilarious like one of my favorite videos to this day is like the nyc subway one you guys have to check it out it's so funny like it just speaks to the heart because i take the subway and it just speaks to me like so number seven is mini marley aka brianna oh my god i love her channel because she is like a natural enthusiast so she really likes natural hair products so she pretty much started her youtube channel with hair products because she wanted to really go a natural route and really use her natural curl pattern style her hair she also does a lot of vlogs and like she went to ghana recently not recently recently but in this year she went to ghana and it was just so amazing the vlogs are epic you guys have to check it out number eight is not a youtube channel but it is a organization owned by a black woman um so it's called the one love travel club i got i heard of it from brianna i love the travel club because it does focus on affordability a lot of times individuals are discouraged with traveling because it could be really expensive with plane fare and hotel staying and things like that but this travel club makes it really affordable for individuals to go to destinations that they would never have been able to go before and you do get to fully divulge into the culture and really get a sense of how the culture lives what they eat what they do for fun and what the music they listen to it is more of a charitable based organization in the sense that you will be doing a little bit of volunteering and really getting to see the really getting to see the sites through your own perspective so it is charitable in the sense that it's giving back to humanity so number nine is shan body aka shannon shannon is like my sexologist like she is such a fun flirty sexy girl i think she's a clinical sexologist i love shannon body because her channel features sex and she tries to break the stigma of having sex be like this closed discussion back alley and try to make it something that's public and shared information for both individuals involved so i really love her channel because she focuses on that and she's kind of like my sexologist like anything i need to know like I peek over to shannon's channel to see what's going on if there's anything new in the community that i need to know you know and lastly number 10 is hey friend hey aka francesca i love her channel because she features a lot of homeopathic versions of like our pharmaceutical remedies whether it be cough drops whether it be cough medicine or anything like that so i really love her channel for that and she just features such great content and i just think it's so refreshing to see her find a way to use like more plant-based and more herbs and more other non-gmo products to get the same result so that pretty much concludes my video for today i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you check out some of the youtubers that i mentioned below i think these group of individuals are so fantastic and terrific and a lot of them i just don't feel are at the level they deserve to be even though they work so hard they're just not in the mainstream public eye i don't know why it could be because of their skin color it could be because something else i don't know i just feel like these group of individuals are people who i hold dear to my heart and who helped me get to where i am in creating my channel so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next time bye